Hey there! Welcome to our channel where we take all things finance and investments. In this video, we're going to be discussing the best approach to investing a small sum of money. So, if you're wondering which investment strategy to use, here's what I would suggest. I personally prefer to search for businesses that are selling at the lowest price relative to the discounted cash they would produce in the future. However, if you're working with a small amount of money, the universe of possible investment opportunities is huge. That being said, you'll need to search extensively to find the right opportunity for you. Now, you may have heard that the best period for investing was between 56 to 69. But actually, my best period was before that, right after I met Ben Graham in 1951. During the next 10 years, my returns averaged about 50% yearly, which was 37 points better than the average. But keep in mind that I was working with a tiny, tiny amount of money. I would pour through volumes of businesses and find one or two that I could put $10,000 or $15,000 into. They were ridiculously cheap. But as the money increased, the universe of possible opportunities started to shrink dramatically. The reality is, as you start to invest millions, the curve on expectable results falls off dramatically due to increased competition. When I started investing, I went through the pages of the manual page by page, and I looked at every business. But that's not practical when investing millions of dollars. So, if you're working with a small sum of money and you're willing to do the work, you will find something that promises significant returns compared to investing large sums of money. Now, it may be a long slog, but a brilliant investor who can't get any money from other people and is working with a very small sum probably should work in very obscure stocks, searching out unusual mispriced opportunities. Most smart people on Wall Street figure that they can make more money easier by getting an override on other people's money or monetizing hope and greed in some way. And right now, during a bull market, it's just astounding how willing people are to toss their money around. But always remember, investing should never be based on hope or greed. It should be a calculated and well thought out strategy. So, that's it for today's video. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.